Here's the process that I use to generate a DMX terminator. In this case, I just have a regular resistor. It's 220 ohms in this case. I have a standard crimp on Cat5 connection. I'm just going to modify it slightly. There is a uh, strain relief in here and that will crush in some cases the connector or the resistor. So I'm just going to take that, pop that out, bend it back up here. Okay, now what I do is I take my resistor and I simply cut it off so that it is equal so that they are bent around. I'll take that. I will then uh, push that into pins one and two, which are the orange pair. And I just look closely to make sure that uh, we're going in the little guides. It doesn't look like we're completely in there. And I bend it a little bit further back here. Pin two is going into pin one. Okay, so I slide it in there. That all looks good. They look like they're separated. Put this in my crimper. These kinds of crimpers at a variety of different stores. Just crimp that down. Pull that out. And now I have a Cat5 Terminator. You plug in anywhere. And uh, what I often do is just put a little bit of hot glue in the back side of this connector, seal it up. 